Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga 101. Today we're going to go over the seven yoga poses you should know to make yourself comfortable in your first yoga class. To my right, I have some foam blocks. Many studios have these available for your use during your practice. Take your blocks with you to the front of your mat so they're available for you to reach for during class. Pose number one is called Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Stand upright, feet inner hip width distance apart, shoulders roll back, hands by your sides, chin lifted. Begin your breath in through the nose and out through the nose and remember to keep breathing throughout your yoga practice. Another common pose in yoga classes is forward fold, also called Uttanasana in Sanskrit. Now, if you're thinking you cannot reach the floor or you have lots of rounding in your back, grab your blocks, place your hands on blocks, and bring the floor to you. Bend your knees if you have to, shoot your tailbone skyward, and then relax your head down. This forward fold feels great. It reduces stress on your lower back and lengthens the hamstrings at the back of the thighs. The next move is Ardha Uttanasana or half forward fold. Some teachers refer, refer to it also as a flat back. So extend the crown of the head forward, one long line of energy from the tailbone out the crown of the head. Some teachers cue to place your hands on shins. Some people can do this posture with their hands on the floor. Maybe your hands are floating. From this posture, you can remove your blocks, step it back to plank pose top of a push-up. Arms are straight, belly's in, gaze is forward, legs are super strong. If you're having trouble maintaining this pose, lower the knees to the floor and take your planks like this. From plank, we have Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows bend straight back at a 90 degree angle. Again, if this is not happening with your legs straight, take your knees down to the floor, Lean forward, bend the elbows to a 90 degree angle. From here, we come into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, also called Upward Facing Dog. Hands are down, shoulders back, chest pulls through, gaze is straight ahead, back of the neck long. Shins and thighs are lifted off the floor, pressure into the tops of the feet. And from here, Downward Facing Dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Hips lift up. Body makes the shape of an upside down letter V. Gaze is back toward the toes. Chest toward the thighs. With those seven postures, you have the foundation of most yoga classes. We string the movements together and we can make workouts happen in a variety of ways. Tadasana, Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, Plank or Plank, Chaturanga Dandasana, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Upward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. I hope these moves help you feel more comfortable when you begin your yoga practice. Namaste.